Day 124 Suraka bin Malik chases the Prophet The Prophet turned around and gazed at Suraka, the horseman, who was rapidly approaching them. The gap between them was closing. He was able to hear the recitation of the Quran by the Prophet. Whatever happened to Suraka, no one knows exactly. His horse's hooves were all of a sudden buried in the sand. Suraka was confused and angry. Only after a long struggle was he able to get his horse's hooves out of the sand. Again, he began following them. But again and again, his horse got stuck in the sand. This happened three times in all. Now, he was unable to get his horse out of the sand and it was driving him crazy. Both he and his horse were covered in sweat. He looked towards the Prophet. He understood that he was a Prophet. Oh Muhammad, he shouted, please pray to your Lord so that I can get out of this. I promise if I do, I will not touch you. If one day your religion grows strong and large, I will also become a Muslim. He was a prophet of love. He would not want anyone to be in trouble. He opened his hands and prayed for Suraka to be saved. Suraka and his horse got out of where they had been stuck. He was full of respect and gratefulness to the prophet. He went immediately to him and said, O Messenger of Allah, order me to do anything and let me carry it out. Return and prevent anyone else from following us, said the messenger. Suraka bid farewell and returned. He met many pagans looking for the prophet on the way back to Mecca. Let's go back. I have searched everywhere around here. I couldn't find anyone. Let's search in other places. He would say, Suraka had kept his promise to the messenger. He would get the reward for this long afterwards.